In today's tutorial, we are going to see how we can actually design this business card, which is having the front and the back. All right, so stay to the end of this video and see the easy step on how you can actually design this business card. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so first, what do we need to do in CorelDRAW when we're trying to design a business card? Not just a business card, but anything. It could be also a flyer. Now, the first thing you need to do is to actually get your size. Now, let's get the size for our business card. You can come all the way right up here and click. Now, when you scroll, you see business card. This is it right here. So I just click on it. Now, this is the size for our business card. Now, looking at this, if you followed us from the introduction to CorelDRAW, you notice that we said this is just like an illusion. Nothing is here. It's just actually to tell us the size of what we are about to design. All right. This is now the size for our business card. So the next thing we need to do now is to create a background here. So we'll come all the way to rectangle tool and click twice. Click twice. Good. Now, after clicking, this pops up. All right. Then it's now time for us to insert or to create our background color. So this is the color I'll be using. All right. This is it. So if you actually want to use this color because you are free to follow us, why I take this tutorial. So if you actually want to use this color, it's fine. I'll be dropping the color mode in the description where you can pick or copy the color mode and insert. All right. This is the color I'll be using. Now I'm going to be using the gradient color, which is having more than two colors here. Then after inserting the first color, I'll just come down here and click twice. All right, now this pops up. So when you want to insert your color mode, that is the color code, sorry, the color code, which I'll be dropping in the description. When you double click on this, this pops up. Then you must make sure this color viewers is highlighted. Then when it's highlighted, this is where you can now insert the color mode here. The color code, you just insert it right here. All right, so we'll be using a gradient fill. Then I'll come here then. Good. Now, this is it. This is the first color. Then I need to insert another color here. I also have a color code for that. I'll come click on this. Then this is the color eyedropper. This is my second color now. I'll click on it. Now, this is the way it's looking like. So when I'm done, I just click OK. Now, this is my background. So like I said, I'm going to be dropping this color code for you guys to use. All right, then it's now time for us to start our text. This is our text. Learn digital skills. All right, I'll just make it bold and I'll put it here. Let me put it at the middle. All right, now, so most of you might actually understand that this learn digital skills is not looking good on this background why because it is black so instead let's make it white good now this is more better it's more better leaving it at white all right so under it i'm going to be writing something else All right, okay, I need to make this in title case. You can actually type this whichever way you want to, whether it's in uppercase or lowercase or even title case. After that, or after typing, you just come right straight to your text. You click on change case. Now we're changing it to title case. You click OK. Now it's going to correct it. So I'm just going to make this smaller and I'll put it here. I'm also going to be making this one white. Good. Now I have this. So I'll just highlight all of this, group it, and put it at the middle. Now, I just did by putting it at the middle. Now, you might actually be wondering, how did I put this at the middle? Okay, let's take this here for instance. Now, I want to put this at the middle of our space, which is at the middle of this whole box. So what we need to do is just click on your P after selecting this or highlighting. Just simply click on P. It brings you straight to the middle. 
all right so this is now how we can actually design the first which is the front part of our business card now let's move to the back all right now this is the back we are going to be designing the back here first like i said earlier get your size now this is our size next is to get your background good i've got my background here then now i'm going to be using that same color i used in the first one i'll be using it here but before i use it let me create something here now i'm going to be creating a circle here creating a circle here all right so now after creating this circle here i need to now insert that color now let's see how we can actually transfer this to that click on this you copy it you move it come here you paste it now when you paste it you just right click hold and drag it inside the circle let me do it again you right click hold and drag inside the circle now you leave it when you leave it you see copy fill here this is it here just click on it and it's going to copy the same fill here then i can delete this one good then i remove the outline for this because you don't need this outline outline can actually spoil your work so let's remove the outline it's not better this way then we power clip it good. now we just power clip this now if you look at this and look at this you see that the colors are the same why because we did the copy fill here all right next we are also going to be inserting our business name here too so what i'll do is i'll just come copy this go back here paste it and i reduce it i reduce it so it can actually fit in here so it will fit in here okay All right so now this is it we just inserted this here so right up here now i'm also going to be inserting something else right up here now i'll be using the circle tool so i'll click on my background come to edit and click i'll be taking the circle here copy here good now instead of using this i'll be using something close to white now why am i using this so you can spot the difference between this and this right here so i'll just reduce it this way a little good okay now if you're looking at this you see that this is actually on top of this instead i want this on top of this so i just click on this one first and right click on it then i see order then i bring it to front of layer this is it it's now at the front of the layer so just pin some down a little good so now up here i'm going to be inserting my name up here okay all right you can also do the same thing you can also insert your name there let me use a different font i'll be using times new roman in case some of you don't have some fonts or you need the fonts and you don't know where to get it you can also check my video i thought how you can download and install fonts in your computer all right this will be here then let's say under it i'll be having something else let's see something i do graphic designer I'll just reduce it a little i'll just reduce it okay then it should be here all right all right so our business card is actually coming out then next we are going to be seeing some of our services just come here put in uh, services for instance services just reduce it now this our services is actually like a title so what we need to do now is we're going to be giving it this color here 
so this is the color here we can put in this make it bold good then we will now be making the list of our services now when doing something like this the list you can actually make now it's not going to be having this color instead it should be in black so anytime you're making a list in your design it's more proper and more professional if you keep your listing in just the color now i'm going to be listing some of the things i do all right website design all right so these are some of the services i offer okay so i'm just going to be taking it up here a little i feel i need to bring this down okay now i also want to share with you guys something now while designing it is more proper and important for you to give a space between the end of your design to where your text is so now this is this this part is which i'm talking about here so let's apply that by bringing this down a little okay we're going to be bringing this one down good so now our services we can also do it to bring it down here good then some of our listed services all right now looking at this you see it's too close so i need to give them spacing good good all right believing you all are still following me you can keep doing what i'm doing all right then now coming here i'm going to be using an icon or a circle to identify them so now i'm going to be making my circle this color which is from this outline I'm sorry from this our services using the same color good now i have this all right so next is i'm going to be putting in some of the social media handles now which is i'll be putting in the youtube the facebook and i also put in the twitter down here all right so now just watch as i do that all right so i have my social media icons here okay so i'm just going to be reducing it now i remember that i said we need to maintain the space in here so i'm just going to reduce this a little more all right okay so now after inserting this we now need to insert our name so i'm just going to be taking this text here i'll be copying this good all right then i'll put it here so inside here i'll be putting in learn digital skills all right so now i just inserted this let me make it a little bit bold all right so i just inserted this now okay so now finally before we go i will be inserting the qr code here now some of these companies you see they might actually be having a qr code so you can ask for one then you can insert it here so now let me bring in my qr code all right so i've brought in my qr code then i'm going to be putting it down here i'll let it centralize with this one okay i feel like taking this up a little all right good so now this is it this is now the back of our business card all right, so this is just how we can actually design our business card. This is just a simple way of designing it. Now, this is our front and then this is our back. All right, so if you actually enjoyed this and you definitely did follow me to the end of this video, I will also like to see your design. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be dropping the color code in the description. Then you all can also pick the color code from there and also apply. All right, 
and also i'll be dropping a whatsapp link where you all can share your designs to me so we can all see what you have done so far all right do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you continue to enjoy more of our amazing videos and also continue to share this video do not forget to give us a thumbs up all right if you would like to learn more about colors in coral draw you can do well to hit the next video right up here that video is going to take you through a step on how you can understand and how you can go about with your colors in coral draw all right so see you guys now next class and stay safe